The streets were ruled by Irish gangsters called the Westies, who took their cues from old Jimmy Cagney movies and were known as the most violent gang in New York. Who was James Coonan, the gang leader of the Irish mob to the Westies in Hell's Kitchen? Killed over 25 people, was connected to the Combino crime family and friends with Combino hitman Roy De Mayo. Coonan and his squad served as a hitman for Combino boss John Gotti. James Coonan, nicknamed Jimmy C, was born on December 21, 1946 in Manhattan, New York. The son of an accountant for famous mobsters, Coonan was no stranger to the criminal lifestyle. Coonan stood up, 5 feet, 7 inches tall and had a stocky build, with broad shoulders and a thick neck, an amateur boxer and a street fighter. He dropped out of school age 17, embarked on a career on organized crime. When Coonan was 18, his father kidnapped by local mobsters, Mickey Spillane. Spillane was the mob boss who ran Hell's Kitchen and was said to have pistol whipped Coonan's father before kidnapping and beating him. Coonan wanted to restore his father's pride, so he went to a tenement ran by Hell's Kitchen and purchased a fully automatic machine gun before firing an entire clip at Spillane and his crew. All two, Coonan failed to hit anyone he shot upon he was now well known as among Hell's Kitchen crew. Coonan soon continued his criminal career by creating the Westies gang. He formed an alliance with a man named Mickey Featherstone, a few former members of Hell's Kitchen who were afraid of Coonan. The Westies went on to kidnap, torture and murder members of Hell's Kitchen, until Spillane had to go into hiding and turn over the power of Hell's Kitchen to Coonan. Coonan established ties to the Combino family when he took control of Hell's Kitchen. Roy DeMeo was a close friend of James Coonan and was a favor to Coonan. He found Spillane and murdered him. Coonan and a number of the Westies gang owed money to a popular Jewish loan shark named Ruby Steen. Coonan worked as a bodyguard for Ruby Steen. Coonan decided to remove his gang debt by murdering Steen. The Westies murdered Steen, dismembered him and threw the remains in the Hudson River. A member of the Westies forgot to defer deflate the lungs before throwing the torso in and Stein torso waste up on the shore and was found a few days later. In 1979, both Featherstone and Coonan were arrested but acquitted for the murder of a bartender named Harold Whitehead. Coonan now was getting national attention. John Gotti began running the Cabino crime family after Roy the Mayo had died and he used Coonan's Westies as a kill squad for the family. Featherstone became upset with the direction. The Westies were headed and confronted Coonan about his problems. With the bad blood between Coonan and Featherstone, Coonan decided to set Featherstone up for murder. Coonan authorized the hit of Michael Hawley while Billy Boken was dressed as Mike Mickey Featherstone. This led to the arrest of Featherstone on a murder charge. In order to clear his name, Featherstone recorded conversations between the Westies and Coonan so that he would be cleared of the murder charge and he could use this as evidence and he had to put Coonan behind bars. After four weeks of testimony, Coonan was found guilty of racketeering and was sentenced to 60 years in prison. Among other members of the Westies arrested were Jimmy McElroy, a top enforcer who was sentenced to 60 years and Richard Ritter, a loan shark and drug dealer who was sentenced to 40 years. James Coonan is currently serving a 60-year sentence in Lewisburg Federal Penitentiary in Pennsylvania.